Hey, it is Tay Rose. For this review, I'm going to be doing the Revolution Pro Blur Stick Plus. Now, I talked about it in my previous vlog, but there are three different types. There's the original, there is this one, and then there is the Brightening Blur Stick. But I only bought the Blur Stick Plus. Now, this one has an enriching watermelon aroma, which is very true. And this one is a universal face primer with vitamins B5, C, and E. Vitamin C brightens the face, so this is definitely good. And there is, it says 1.5 ounce that comes in here, but this is big, okay? I already put primer on my face. I am currently wearing the Essence, sorry. I'm currently wearing the Essence Hello Good Stuff Glow Serum Primer with the watermelon water and niacinamide and i also am wearing the essence fix and last makeup grip and jelly primer it is hydrating and it is refreshing to the face thing left for me to do is just find a product to blur out my pores and to blur out my t-zone because i have combination skin or so i think when i put on makeup so we're just gonna get into it so this smells really good and this is how big it is like you really do not need um too much and i don't think i need to rub it in with my hands we'll see i have, I have my handy dandy mirror right here so i'm gonna see how it looks on this side mm. i'm gonna bring it up to my nose Ooh. so looking at this side versus this side i can say that i definitely see a blur there for sure I feel like my pores look the same, honestly. If you're someone with larger pores, I want you to be aware of that. With this product, your pores may look the same. It's a slight maybe. It does blur them out, though. But right here is, like, a little larger. I'm just going to finish on this side. I will say that so far with um, this part of the skin, I've noticed that there is a lot of tugging that you're going to have to do. All right? There's a lot of tugging. Um, there just a disclaimer now i want to apply it on the t-zone you all know where the t-zone is i don't gotta explain it let's see let's do one side so y'all can see mm, oh. i gotta be careful because i have this in there i don't see a big difference honestly with this side versus this side it blurs it out but i don't know if it blurs it all the way but then again i did apply the watermelon primer by essence so i'm not sure if that makes a difference and i have some in my hair what i like about this is that you don't have to take your fingers and rub it in i like this a lot it is hand free so i feel like if you're someone oh i just noticed that a little um rod i know that if you are someone that has what do you call it if you're someone that is a german phobe you don't like anything with your um hands then this would be a perfect go-to. So you're not rubbing the product on your face using your hands. So I do like this by far. What I'm going to do with this is I'm going to finish the rest of my face. And I'll come back at you with how it looks after my foundation. Okay, so I just applied my powder. I finished my makeup and I also was filming. I mean, I honestly don't remember what time I had put this on. But I'll say this is about a few hours, like three hours since I've had this on, and this is how my face is looking. Still is a little blurring, but you can still see some areas of my T-zone is starting to peep through, and then some parts right here are starting to peep through. Chin is okay, but you can see, like, here's and there's, if that makes sense. All right, so it is almost 9.30, and this is my face. So my T-zone, ooh. <laughs> I totally did not mean to scrape that, but you can see where I scraped it off the oil, how it should be versus around it where it's oily. My nose is very oily and so is around my larger pore area and my chin. So this isn't oily skin approved, combination skin approved at all. It's supposed to like smooth out your skin and I realized it wasn't, it wasn't doing that at all. So... I, I would not recommend it, but if you want to try it, I say try it for yourself because I know everyone's skin is different, but I wouldn't 
recommend anyone to get this. It's a nice concept, but it doesn't work. 